Yo, yo, hey, yo. What's up, YouTube? We do it all again. Uh, about to change the... Oh, sorry. 2004 Nissan Maxima. Same car as the last video. But this time, um, we're changing the uh, pressure line on the power steering pump. Now, this line is very difficult to get to. And I actually had to replace the CV axle on this car also. So, taking the CV axle out actually made this a little easier. But, uh... For those of y'all that cannot take the CV axle out, hey, it's still doable. Um, we're going to get into it a little bit here, just kind of show you where we at. So, the pressure line, of course, is, attack, is attached to the rack and pinion in the vehicle. Um, it goes from the power steering pump to the rack and pinion. So, what I did here is I removed the uh, air cleaner and the air cleaner hose, which allowed me access um, down here. Let me see how I'm going to do this to make the light the way it should be. Okay. So, I got the wrench. No, I don't actually. So, let me set the camera here to where y'all can see. If I can get a good angle. <laughs> all right. We got all them fancy, all that fancy equipment most of these people got. So, we just got to try to make do with what we got. All right. Um, This is, doesn't look like it's going to be easy. And I apologize for the camera moving around. Anywho, right here. All right, right here. That's the line you got to get off. Okay, uh, this is the end of the line, and it is a 14 millimeter wrench. I got a 14 millimeter socket wrench here, uh, it's a socket wrench, pipe wrench here. So I'm gonna try to get this on here while I'm holding the camera. Anywho, get it on there and break it. I got it broken from the top. I like to do it from the top because it just made it easier. There's not much room at the bottom to get to this line, so breaking it from the top. Um, would probably be your best bet and uh i'll go down to the bottom but it's loose right now i got a i got a pan in the bottom so i can catch whatever fluid so i can catch the fluid at the bottom so on that side that's going to be your hardest part all right uh just make sure that you know you have your pipe wrench and if you have a regular 14 that'll work too i just like to use pipe wrenches because man uh if you strip one of these <laughs> You're going to be in a world of hurt trying to get it out. So we'll head to the bottom and I'll kind of show you the view from under there. Oh, and the reason I'm changing it because it was leaking. Leaking all over the driveway. I was able to get the car up on jack stands and look under. And right, uh, right at the point where the hard pipe reaches the soft line, it's leaking right there. So we'll head under the bottom and I'll kind of show you all that. All right. I got a very, very tight space. So please bear with me. Okay, the line I just took out up top is right here, okay? It's kind of like a Z formation type line. And if you look up here, there's a little 10 millimeter bolt. Let me see if I can position this to where I can set it down for a second. I'm gonna point it out to you. Okay, everybody good, everybody good, all right. So right in here, I gotta move this light because it's in my way. But if I move the light, y'all not gonna be able to see. So let's, okay, I'm trying to get my hand in here. Oh man. Anyway, um, so if you're looking at it, we're just, I'm just gonna describe it to you. It's gonna be easier for me to do it that way anyway. You see the two bolts? Man, that light is bright, isn't it? All right, here we go. You see the two bolts to the bottom left. Above that, there's another bolt with a 10, it looks like a 10 millimeter. Um, it's got a little yellow on it. That's the one we got to remove. That will release the line at this point. So basically from the point where you took it out of the rack and pinion to this point, that'll release that area. And if I come up here, like I said, forgive me, forgive the video. I'm trying to do all of this with one hand and kind of show you guys the process. All right, let me get this light out of here. All right, and if you look up here, like I said, with the rack and pinion out, it's a lot easier. Excuse me, with the uh, CV axle out, it's a lot easier to see. But right up here. Oh, man, why? Okay. There's no way I'm going to be able to hold this and show you guys this. Man. I, I, I apologize because I don't like doing stuff halfway. So we're going to make this work. Because y'all my peoples. And we need to show y'all what's up. Alright. Anyway. 
right here. <laughs> black hand, black space really don't work too well, do it. It's more work getting this light here than it is. I'm gonna put it on pause, I'll be back. All right, I think we good now. So, like I was trying to say, right here, this bolt basically is connected to the power steering pump. So I'm gonna remove this bolt. And then there's a sensor right here. So you just gotta unclip that sensor, pull that out, remove this bolt. There is a uh, wire, uh, oh God, plastic tie up top that you gotta cut. But once you remove this bolt, the 10 millimeter bolt, 10 millimeter bolt I showed you earlier, and the uh, the line that goes into the rack and pinion, this thing will pretty much be free. Um, also, of course, you're gonna have to remove that sensor. And then once you get it out, uh, unless your new one comes with that sensor, you'll have to take that sensor out and put it into the new unit. So. I'm going to go ahead and get this out, and then once we get it out, we'll compare the two units, uh, get the sensor removed, and go from there. All right, we back. All right, so along with everything I told you guys before, I realized that there is a bolt at the top here. Um, There's a bracket that holds this thing to the top. It's a 10 millimeter bolt. Uh, I've got my handy dandy little swivel head uh, wrench here. So all you got to do, um, I took two hoses off, two intake hoses off just to be able to get access to it. You can reach your wrench down there and just, you know, 15, 20 turns, that bolt will come out. That is the last bolt holding it together. So you got the one bolt at the bottom with the yellow on it that I showed you earlier. You got this one up top. You got your line going into the uh, rack and pinion. And then you have your 24 millimeter bolt that, uh, oh, where's my flashlight at? I use a light. You got your 24 millimeter bolt that connects into the, the pump itself. This is it right here. That's it right there. So basically that connects right into the um, power steering pump and then the actual line goes through there so it feeds the fluid into the to the line. That's a 24 millimeter. That's right next to the um right next to the sensor. So those, let's see, one, two, three, four bolts will get that line off. So I'll get this last one done and then we'll go from there. Hey, there's my new one. They're relaxed. Lifetime warranty, AutoZone. I think it was $71.99. All right, be back. All right, so after uh, pulling that, that top uh, bolt off, which was right here, it was on this little rubber grommet. I got everything out. Um, just got the sensor, the old sensor put in this one. And everything pretty much lines up the same. This hose here was leaking right here at this seam. For some reason, uh, that seam was leaking, so we had to get it replaced. This new hose comes fully equipped with the heat shield on it. This old one was halfway, but we um everything lines up, everything looks good, so we'll go ahead and get it back on. Uh, might be asking how I got it out right through this hole. But of course, like I said, I have uh, access because I had the CV axle out. Um, I believe you can still get it out through here even if the CV axle's in. But if not, you can fish it through the bottom there on the other side of the exhaust. Uh, or it may even come out up top on the other side where we took the um, where we took the line out of the rack and pinion. But for my purposes, I just pulled it out here since I already had the CV axle off. So I'll fish it back in, and uh, we'll get this thing installed, get it refilled, and ready to go. All right.